than a brother. Even when brother walk away and does not understand your calamities, you can find a friend in Jesus. Song said, what a friend. Not I have, but we have. All those that know him, everyone who have accepted him as your own personal savior, he is a friend. He's a friend above all other friends. Song said, all our sins and griefs to bear. But what a privilege <laughs> is to carry. <laughs> right. not, not something, but everything <laughs> to God in prayer. Right. You, you know, we can go to some of our friends, we just can tell them something. But we can't tell them everything. But Jesus is a friend that you can tell him everything. You know what I discovered? You know what I discovered? He won't, he, he won't scandalize your business. A -a Amen. When you, when, when you take it to the Lord in prayer. He's a mighty good God. The song said, have we trials and temptation? How many of y'all have trials? And temptation. <laughs> You know, and they say, is there trouble anywhere? But we should never be this courage. All we have to do, do what? Take it to the Lord in prayer. And that, that's why we get in trouble, we, because we refuse to take it to the Lord in prayer. You, you know, he is a prayer answering God, don't you? you? You know, he can answer prayer, don't you? You, you know, he always asks a prayer, don't you? He, you, you know, anything we want from him, he said, just ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. You, it, amen says, that's all you have to do. Then he said, when you pray, he said, whatever you ask in prayer, believe in. That means while you're praying, you got to believe that God can and God will answer your prayer. That, 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 that's what makes prayer so meaningful. You, you got to believe that God can do it when it seems impossible. That he can make a way out of no way. You know, it matters not whether you're young or old. Young folks have problems just like old folks. <laughs> but, but he's a way maker. <laughs> Amen. He's making a way all the time. Now, that just might be my message. And that's good enough for me. But I'm going to read from the book of St. John. the 20th chapter. And uh, I'm going to begin at the 22nd verse. I want you to pay attention. And then you can read all of it later. The Bible says, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sin ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sin ye retain, they are retained. That means I'm giving you some power, some authority to do something. But the Bible going to say, but Thomas, one of the twelve, uh, called Didmus was not with them when Jesus came. And the other disciples said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hand the prince of the nail, and put my hand, my finger, in the print of the nails in his side, and thrust my hand into his side. I will not believe. Amen. The Bible goes on to say, In eight days again, the disciple was with them, and Thomas with them. Now listen, to that. I want to read that again. 
I want you to pay attention. He had already met with uh, the uh, other disciples, and Thomas was not with them. And Thomas didn't believe. He said, the only way I believe that he right. has a rhythm, I'm going to have to see him for myself. All right. And just seeing that, not going to be enough. But I'm going to have to thrust my hand into his, and my finger into his hand, into the nail print. That, that, that in, in, in his hand. And putting my, my finger in the nail print uh, that, uh, that, and thrust my hand into his, his side. And and, 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 and and other than that, I will not believe. But the Bible says, and after eight days again, Jesus waited a while to make Thomas know that he was wrong. And after eight days again, the disciples were within, and listen, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus. Now listen. And the door being shut right. and stood in the midst right. and said, Peace be unto you. Right. You don't have to open the door for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. You can close every one of these doors. But when he gets ready, he can come in. He said, and Jesus came in and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto thee, right. unto you. And then said he to Thomas, you, you know, you don't have to be a tattletale on nobody what they do or what they doesn't do, what they believe or what they don't believe. He already, I'm teaching now now. What they believe and what they don't believe. You, you, you don't have to tell God that. He already, the Bible said the Lord knows them who, who, who trust in him. And he goes on to say, when he entered into the room and the door was being shut, he said unto Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, right. and behold my hand. Right. And reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. Right. Listen to what he said. Be not faithfully, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord, my God. And Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. But blessed are they which have not seen, and yet have believe now that's that's include you and I, and uh, and uh, in popular subject is doubting Thomas. Amen. Doubting Thomas. Uh, this these words were recorded by one of uh, the Lord's faithful apostle uh, by the name of John. It is said John uh, was a uh, was well, the youngest of the of the twelve, and uh, uh, he, he he was the son of Zebedee, and uh, along with James his brother, and he was right there. Uh, John was there. They said when they led Jesus from judgment hall to judgment hall, and they accused him, uh, but uh, he 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 didn't say a mumbling word. Because he was on his mission, uh, Amen. He, he had he had made a promise that he that he would pay the debt for man's sin, Amen, Amen. And so uh, John was right there. And so John wrote that that after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, Amen. And 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 the apostle was gathered together in the house. And, uh, and, but Thomas, the Bible said, but Thomas was not with them when Jesus came. So it behoove us to always be in the house of the Lord. You never know when he's going to pour out his Holy Spirit upon us. Some of you might remember back in, in the 70s, amen, over in the other building, and we had, uh, old fashioned day and uh, and the church anniversary. We have been in service all day long. We have eaten on the ground and after eating and and uh, we went back into evening service and started worship all over again. And while we were worshiping the Lord, Amen. Sister Maggie Trehan, I understand she's in the hospital now. Her husband uh, 
came in the door and he said, uh, about the second row from the back. And we would have in service. And I was sitting in the pew, I mean, on the pulpit pew, and I wasn't thinking about preaching. But I said to myself, Lord, it, it's getting late, and these people are tired, and I, I need to let them go home. Yeah. And when I made up my mind, amen, to stand up, amen, to give a benediction so they can go home because they had been here all day long. And they was not grumbling and was not complaining, but I felt that they were tired and they needed to go home. And I, I told the Lord within my heart, Lord, I'm going to let them go home. And when I stood up, amen, to get ready to get a benediction, Brother KC, there he is back there, he may not remember. Brother KC stood up and raised his hand. And said, Rev, I'd just like to have a word. He said, I just want to say the choir show this 